Mark Green with the Greener Corporation here with another Greener Tech Bite. Today we're going to be talking about cleaning, something we've got to do often. There's a proper way to do it and a proper procedure. A lot of times what we see are people are using improper tools to clean the ceiling jaws. Improper tools are whatever they can find. Scissors, putty knives, screwdrivers, whatever's available. There are specific tools designed for cleaning the ceiling jaws and we want to cover those right this time. So, for heavy, very sticky materials, one of the things that we'll use is a custom-made Kevlar scraper. It's made from the same material as our Kevlar ceiling jaws, so it won't damage soft face jaws. It has serrations ground that match the serrations in your ceiling jaws, and it's made for cleaning up very heavy, impacted product very quickly. This can be used in conjunction with either a brass or nylon brush. If you have metal jaws, scotch Brite pad also works pretty well. Wouldn't recommend it on a soft face jaw, but on metal surfaces, very good for cleaning as well. So, how often should we clean the ceiling jaws? Anytime they come in contact with product. We also have to clean the lower jaw as well as the upper jaw. It's a little bit more difficult to get at the lower jaw, but we have to clean both. Very important that we secure our tools when they're not in use so they don't end up on the feed belt and into the ceiling jaws causing damage. I also want to take a moment and talk about sanitation. Sanitation, when you're changing over from product to product and parts such as forming collars, tubes, deck plates are removed from the machine and cleaned, uh, it's very important that they are handled with great care. They have a lot of impact on your seal quality. And if those parts are damaged in cleaning and then reinstalled and not checked, you're going to be compromising your seal quality. So keep your ceiling jaws clean. Clean them as often as is practical. And whenever there are contaminants introduced into the ceiling jaws, and do clean them with the proper tools, not hard metal objects that are going to cause damage to your ceiling jaws.